All right, we have another race coming. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, but this time it will be slightly different. We will race a fossil car versus a Tesla. What? Yeah. <laughs> what? <laughs> so uh, I'm not sure who's the lucky one today because uh, I will be driving the Porsche 911. Mm -hmm. Yes, and Powell will be driving his own car. Yeah. Finally, I'm which is, driving my own. Yeah. Which is, what, what car is it? <laughs> it's a Tesla Model 3 Performance. Okay. Yeah, with, with the 20 inch wheels. Stock. Yeah. Oh, yeah. You see, so. Yeah. And also, and uh, the Porsche is from 2002, so I know you guys be complaining that we are not being fair. So I agree, we are not being fair because we should have used a Model 3 long range, the non performance, of yeah. course. Yeah. Because so his car is probably a little bit thir thirsty. Yeah, a little bit. Yeah. So my car is also thirsty. Yeah, but it's <laughs> fun. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, um, well, you guess what? I have uh, 512 kilometers of range. <laughs> what about you? I have. 499. <laughs> <Shit>. <laughs> Almost. Yeah. So the, the race today is to drive from Oslo to Lyngdal and back again. That's 800 kilometers. Yeah. About 500 miles. That's long enough. Hmm. And we have a mix of motorway and some slower roads. And as usual, the rule is 10% uh, over. Yeah. Hammering is allowed. Yeah. <laughs> uh, but it's probably pointless on this route. <laughs> yeah. And uh, rules about eating is that uh, we shall not eat in the car. No eating in the car. Well, That's you probably right. don't eat in the car. No, no never. Ah, oh, okay. Yeah, you see. <laughs> and this is not the Porsche is not my car, so I will not eat in the car. Yeah. So and then so, I will. Yeah, I'll be refueling while uh, we eat. What, what are you going? What is your car going to do while you eat? It'll just be parked there <laughs> because <laughs> in Norway, in Norway, you have to refuel yourself. There's no one else refueling for you, unlike yeah. in Thailand. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, so I'll be wasting time doing that, wasting money also. So, um, all right, ready? Yeah, I'm ready. May the best uh, drive train win. Yeah, yeah. The biggest bladder win. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Finally, I'm racing my own Tesla Model 3 Performance. Uh, against uh, Bjorn. Uh, what the heck? What are you doing, Bjorn? What, what are you driving? Okay, okay. <laughs> so he's driving the fossil for the first time in this race. <laughs> uh, this is a Porsche um, 911 Turbo, four wheel drive, I think. Yeah. It's a thirsty little beast. Um, He's supposed to have uh, the same range as me, around 510 kilometers, while uh, my is showing around f yeah 500. Um, so this should be uh, this should be pretty exciting. Yeah, so let's do this. Okay, let's fire up the car. Yes, burn dinosaurs. Okay. Um now I have to reset the trip meters. Let me see. There's the, there's this very uh, unlogic stock here. You have to use uh, non-intuitive. Okay, 512 kilometers of range. That's fine. Okay. See how do you do this? Set, set. Okay. No, no, huh? No. Reset. Okay. Reset uh, this the trip there. Okay. Reset the consumption. Right. Reset the average speed. Right. Return, yeah. How do you go back? There, okay, good, good. What about this one? Let me see. Uh, BC, okay, this is there. I think I can also go here. Wow, this is so 80s. Okay, and then I can reset. Reset, so I have some push. One more than, okay, okay. Okay, I had guys instructing me. There, okay. Yes, now we have that one, but then this one doesn't show the range, so I actually want to switch to this one because then I see the range there. That's good. Yeah, uh, we will not use the Kazan Spiller. We will not play ABBA this trip. Uh, I've set the, the manual. El manu okay, this is fine. It's fine. Yeah, okay. Live stream is start running. So Pavel is also doing a final preparation and then off we go. We are finally on the move. Uh, the clock is 11.12. Uh, I have topped up the battery. My range is around 500 kilometers for now. And um, I've reset all the trip meters. We are live on YouTube. 
And there is the Beard's car, yeah. Uh, sorry for zooming. <laughs> yeah. So we are going to Lingdal and back today. It's 800 kilometers together. All right, we are now on the move and great news. My fuel consumption is 9.4. Yes, it's measured in 9.4 dinosaurs per 100 kilometers. <laughs> yeah. My range is now uh, down to 504 kilometers, yeah. So we're still starting. Uh, Pavel, he is uh, right behind me. So he doesn't dare to overtake me. <laughs> I can smell my victory already. We are now in Liel and uh, great news, my fuel consumption is down to 9.0 Ooh, and it's dropping. So uh, we have done 45 kilometers and I still have 495. Oh, it's increasing. What? I'm gaining range. What? It means I get fuel back into the, uh, the fuel tank. You see, the car can in fact reverse the process. Yeah, you convert kinetic energy back to gasoline. Oh, this car is magic! Look at that! Ooh. We are just passing Drammen and um, everything it's good. We are still live streaming and um, my consumption is 149 at the moment. We've been driving for a while, yeah, 55 kilometers and uh, I set my navigation on uh, Ionity Charger at Lillesand. It's about 250 kilometers from here, so we will be there around 3 o'clock. That's a perfect timing for uh, for a meal, yeah, and for recharge. Okay, let me see, let me play some music here, yeah, yeah let me see. Okay, let's, let's leave it off. Yeah, okay. We are getting close to Larvik. We've been driving uh, for a while now, 138 kilometers. And my consumption is 167 watt hours per kilometer. been driving for about oh, it's hard. We've been driving for about one and a half hours and uh, suddenly Pavel is ahead, he hammered me right before the motorway ended. Now we have a piece of shit road for the next one and a half oh, oh shit one and a half two hours. Uh, I'm quite surprised, I'm quite impressed that the fuel consumption is still at 9.2 yes. So in the city I will average 10 and then on the highway, I average nine, nine-ish. That's nice, you know, it seems like this car has been uh, designed to work on high speed, yes. Yeah. So, you see the golden here says that I have 419 kilometers of range left. 419 plus the 160 I've done, that means over 500 kilometers, yeah, yes. Beat that, Powell. Yeah, but I heard that Pavel, he has really low consumption right now. He's been uh, he's been averaging about 150, 160 only. That means he can go 450 in one charge. Ooh. <laughs> oh shit! Uh, I'm not sure. What the heck is going on here? Uh, we're standing still. I'm burning dinosaur juice here. Pavel is in front of me. Uh, I just talked to Pavel. Uh, he, this car is so efficient that um, he can make it all the way to uh, Lingdal. That's 400 kilometers. Easy. He, the car estimates he will arrive with 13 percent. 
Uh, so he could make it there. I could also drive there. I could drive a long time. Um, but we probably want to have some food and go to the restroom. Uh, but we, we'll figure out once we get closer to Kisian Sun, I think. But this is not going very fast. And you see that this is the problem. Regardless of if you're driving a Porsche, like mine, or a Tesla, which is that you will still be stuck in this traffic. And this is not something unique for Norway. Go to Germany, go to other countries, and you might find road construction, accidents, Unfall, uh, slow drivers, slow pokes, uh, weather conditions, whatever. So uh, things that make the trip longer than necessary. Hey, Powell, what the heck is he doing? <laughs> he's, he's filming out of the window. Ah, oh, yeah, he uses all the pilot, that bastard. Ah, uh, yeah. Uh, so you see here, if I go here, uh, we've been driving now for almost two hours and I haven't had my break yet and I still have more than uh, you see the fuel tank here I have about 60% yeah so I don't have to stop yet I will keep going for a little while there's a lot of traffic today so we are just cruising and taking it easy <laughs> yeah my uh, consumption is at 163 watt hours per kilometer. We have been driving for 224 kilometers since 11 o'clock, I think. Still live streaming and chatting with all the fans and enjoying uh, Beard's ass. It's a nice, um, it's a nice car. Yeah. So you see, it's now two in the afternoon. I had breakfast at nine something. So it's been, it's been four, no, it's been four and a half hours or so since I had food, and we are still sixty kilometers away from uh, from the supercharge or the or the, uh, the Super K or whatever. You know, I want to have some food over there. I was thinking, well, 60 kilometers takes half an hour to drive, right? Yes, for the in the rest of Europe, 60 kilometers takes 30 minutes. Over here, 60 kilometers will take almost an hour, especially with the detour here. So, I want to have food soon. I'm, I'm thirsty. I'm hungry. I'm grumpy. And, and I need to pee. Yeah. So. Um, I don't need to refuel, the car is fine. The car is still at some 55%. Uh, so I don't have to waste time refueling. <laughs> uh, but I heard that Powell behind me, he is at, uh, he's still at some 40%. He has plenty of juice. He's been averaging 160 watt per kilometer. And he can he can drive to Lillesand. And he can drive, he can actually drive over 450 kilometers before he can charge. That means he can drive all the way to Lingdal and back again somewhere. And yeah, so I'm not sure. It's up to him, of course, when he wants to charge. Uh, but I need to stop soon. Yeah. All right, still cruising. Uh, we are stopping at Lillesand. We have to eat. We have to pee. We have to rest a little bit. So we are now at Lillesand. So we've been on the road for almost four hours. Well, it feels like at least uh, three hours and forty minutes something. So I don't need to refuel. This is the beauty of it. I have about half tank, but Pavel he's plugging in, and you see he's he's already wasting time plugging in, do all that stuff. I can just go inside. Yeah, let's get some food. Let's um, we just let the car stay here. Wait, did I did I lock it? Oh, hold on, let me see. I'm not sure, I'm just making sure that nobody messes with the Porsche. Oh, this... Okay, okay, good, good, let's go, let's go, yeah. Let's go inside, get some food. All right, we are at the Ionity Charger in Lillesand. Um, I arrived here with a pretty high state of charge, so, but even though we are getting uh, 100, up to 191 kilowatts, in uh, charging speed, it dropped down uh, to 170 something uh, right now, but it's still very fast charging. So, uh, yeah, 
there is Bjorn's car over there. Okay, I don't know if you can uh, see these guys. Uh, the state of charge is 41% and we are still receiving 166 kilowatts. Um, this is good. Still live streaming. <laughs> I put the iPad on the armrest so the followers can see the charging speed. Ah, freaking fossil. <laughs> yeah. Let's go to the restroom and get something to eat. This has taken forever. There's so many customers in there and I had to sit and wait. I mean, I stand and wait for my turn and then I order the food and they are making the food right now. But I see that Pavel, he's already at 320 kilometers or something. And then we had a problem with the Ionity charger that it bugs. So now he has so high stereo charger. He might as well supercharge for the rest. Yeah. And Pavel has, hasn't ordered the food yet. Mine is on the way. And then the Porsche is still sitting here, <laughs> doing nothing. <laughs> I hope it's not too hot in here. Let me check, because it might overheat. Oh shit, it overheats. That's the problem. Oh, it's so hot in here. It's just starting, starting stop because it overheats. Oh, dang. Okay, let me get the food and then I'll figure out something. Maybe we just have to, we have to buff it out, yeah. But it takes so long. I cannot believe that this this stop here takes so long. See, did I lock it? No, it's a... Huh? What the heck? So I have a... Now it's locked. Okay, good, good. All right, let's go. Oh yes, Pavel's food is here. And how many kilometers do you have now? We are at 410 kilometers already. So <laughs> Even with that that bug with the Ionity charger. Yeah, yeah. What? And you have to move the car. It's just crazy, you know? I just started to charge and I just got my food. <laughs> <laughs> it's too fast. <laughs> um, no, I don't want to stress. I don't want to eat any junk, uh, garbage food on the way. This is good shit. Mm -hmm. What do you think? Oh yeah, very good. This is first time, eh? Oh yeah, yeah. Mm. It is. It is. Highly recommended. Mm. Mm. All right, we are finally done with the food. Uh, I'm done. Pavel is done. Uh, Let's just check on him. Uh, yeah, he's, he's over there. <laughs> yeah, he's probably just waiting to unplug now. And the problem is that the car has been sitting in the sun, so it's. Uh, let me just check here. Oh, it's hot in here, so we had to fire up the car. Let's see, do we need to press? Yeah, okay. We need to. We need to cool down the car. Uh, so you see, this is the problem, which is that when we stop, how well? He's then juicing up, you know, while he's, while he's eating, the car is then juicing up. But my car is just sitting here doing nothing for the past half an hour. But okay, I think I can leave before him. Yeah, let's go, let's go. She pee. My car peed on himself. All right, we are still at Little Sun. I had to charge at the supercharger because the Ionity charger bugged for some reason and yeah I had to move it here uh, Bjorn's car it's super hot so he just started up and uh, you have to cool down a little bit um, yeah and I'm at soon at 100% so I'm ready to go all right, we are now on the move, yes. Uh, I left Pavel behind, he's still back there. He's probably a couple of minutes behind me. So I'm cruising at the maximum allowed speed, which is 110 kilometers per hour. I still have about 45% tank left, see? And, oh, 9.5 now, shit. And then uh, this display tells me that uh, I have 230, uh, 224 kilometers of range left. So I don't have to refuel yet, but once we do that, you will see that it's marvelous. It really takes just three minutes. But we have to you see. This is the beauty of it. Um, fossil cars that you don't have to plan anything. You can just drive, and then when you're low, you charge. Man, sorry. When you're low, you refuel. Okay, we just left Lillesand. Um, I was charging uh, until 474 kilometers, I think. Um, yeah, we had to eat and um, go to the restroom and stuff, so it took a while. 
stopped, so I got almost full charge on the car. Uh, the consumption is going slowly down. It's always a little bit high after a charge. And yeah, I'm just behind Björn. Um, a little misunderstanding uh, when we stopped because I thought we were going to shoot a short uh, film just to talk about the trip uh, so far because he wanted to chill down his car interior it was so warm inside but then he just left so now I'm behind him <laughs> and I should be in front of him but yeah I will hammer him eventually I think and my car just told me that he is or she <laughs> Conditioning battery for supercharging. That's cool. We are about halfway now. We've been driving for 400 kilometers. I've used up 65 kilowatt hours, and the consumption is at 162 watt hour per kilometer. We are now in Lyngdal, yes, this is a turnaround point for the race, for the race, it's, you know, it's more like a marathon. Many people, they get the wrong idea, every time they hear race, they think we have to drive too fast, I think, no, we, it's, it's, it's more like a marathon, you know. So, um, now we just, I would just want to uh, turn around here, yes, at the gas station, let's do it quickly. And then go back, I don't have to go to the restroom, I don't have to eat or pee or anything, I'm still good. Ooh, I like the turning radius, yes, nice. And Pavel, he's there, he's also going, he's, uh, he's right behind me. He has more range than me right now. I have, I'm down to 158 kilometers. He probably has over 400 still, but he needs to charge one more time. And I need to refuel once, and my refueling is faster than his charging time. <laughs> so that's the only way for me to win over him now. So see, right now I'm down to about 20% tank, and I've done 417 kilometers. Okay, so far so good. Um, and then the car claims I have another 153, so oh, okay, whatever. It's a nice, lovely day today for hammering. I have Pavel right behind me. Yes, let's finish this. Let's settle it. Nine, nine, we are low on fuel. Consider range on remaining. Okay, 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 okay. The fuel lamp is okay. We have to refuel soon. All right, all right, let me see. This one still says 104 kilometers, okay. Let's find a gas station soon and refuel. Okay, my first and only uh, refueling stop is over here. Pavel, he just left me now, but I only need a couple of minutes here. So let's prepare and start refueling.
Okay, whatever. I wanted to get the receipt, but whatever. Okay, so now I will just let the car park here. You see, I'm not blocking. We have lots of other pumps available. So just a quick restroom break and then off we go. Okay, so far so good. I refuel. I went to the restroom. Uh, and there's a, now I have a hot dog as a quick meal. This will be the last meal before I finish the trip. Um, we are about four hours from Oslo. So, not optimal. You can say people with Porsche, they will usually not eat a hot dog. They will have a better meal, you know. A five star meal at a Michelin restaurant, something, you know. I just you know what I mean. Yeah. But uh, Pavel is now gaining, he's, he's, he's getting the distance, but I will catch him because he needs to stop one more time. Yeah. Okay, let's shut up and eat. Oh yes, we are on the move. Yeah, we are cruising now. See, full tank, yes. Hell full, yeah, yeah. How no tank by full tank? <laughs> yeah, now the car says 560 kilometers of range. So this is plenty. I have more than enough to go home. I have about 350 something back home. So like 300. 30 maybe, yeah. So I don't have to stop for fuel at least, but I might have to stop to just pee one more time. I'm not sure. Let's see. But you know, I don't want to sacrifice the comfort like not peeing for the next four hours. You know what? Um, I asked the live stream people how long did I stop here because people always brag about the three minute recharge. For some reason, it took me 15 minutes the whole recharging plus extras. So let me recap what happened. I stopped there. I know exactly where the fuel cap is. Um, I had to. Um, I also chose the fastest option, which is to pay by card right at the pump. No messing around going inside to pay for it in case there's a queue there. So I just have to print, insert, insert the card, pin, pin code, choose what I want, the 98 Super, and then. I started uh, pumping. Oh, wait, try to. And the weird thing was that once I started refueling, um, it stopped after just 10 liters. It stopped as if it was full. I was like, what the heck? And I just pushed it a little bit and then um, it kept going for a little bit and then it stopped again. And I knew I that was not it. I had more space in there. So I just have to keep doing this, which slowed me down a little bit. But then eventually it filled up, yeah. And then I was done, and then I actually purposely didn't move the car because moving the car will waste some time and most fossils, they don't move the car after they refuel it. So I blocked the pump, being a bad panda, uh, and then I went inside and I ordered a hot dog first. I ordered the hot dog first, paid for it, and then when the guy was preparing the hot dog, then I went to the restroom. Um, so I saved time rather than going to the restaurant first, no? And then I came out and then I started eating the hot dog outside the car because we don't want to mess, make a, make a big mess in the car. Uh, and then while I was eating the hot dog, I also cleaned the windscreen with the other hand. And that is something most fossil owners don't do. But I do that extra thing because I wanted to, you know, just in a rush, yeah. Okay, I can say that maybe some people when they're in a rush, they will also do it. So I would say that I did all I could to make that charging stop plus that food stop as fast as possible. So that was about 15 minutes. And now I'm good for the rest of the trip, yeah. Okay, so we are trying uh, to get to all the way to Ionity Charger at Rindalskogen. Uh, suddenly, you know, uh, the consumption dropped down a little bit because of all the slow traffic and, and the car says 20 percent state of charge uh, at the arrival so yeah we have some motorway driving ahead um, so we should arrive there with like 10 percent or something so this looks good the only problem is uh, my bladder <laughs> but um, yeah that's a priority number two, not one. So, we are going for the win. What the heck is going on here? Powell, he just pulled over. He, We heard on the live stream, he, he is at the supercharger already. 
I just entered the, the motorway. So now I can try to hammer it. Let me see, it was slightly faster. He is 13 minutes ahead of me. He started charging. He's getting 180 kilowatt and he can take a pee break. I kind of need a pee break also, but uh, yeah, I will do a quick one, a very quick pee break. There is a resting area over here. I think Pavel needs about 10, 15 minutes of charging. Ugh. Come on. Coming through. We'll take a quick pit stop, restroom. Yes, let's see. Ugh. Let's do a bad parking. Oh, that was fast. Oh, okay, I washed my hands. I, I promise, I washed my hands. Oh, they, oh, one and a half minutes or something. It was a quick one. Okay, let's go. Five more minutes? Are you crazy, man? How fast is that thing? What the hell is going on? Pavel, I heard on the live stream, I see him glimpse, he just unplugged. I am almost 10 minutes behind him, or at least five minutes behind him. He's ahead of me, he already charged to uh, 50 uh, 50 percent or something, and he has enough juice to go home, but I hope he charged enough because if not, then he will have to slow down, but he, you see, this is the problem. I, I really tried to be a fast, but he didn't eat. He only ate at the first charging stop. That did, he didn't take any other food break. He could actually do it over at this one. He had, he had some 10 minutes to stop there, but I had a hot dog break, but he's ahead of me. And maybe he has enough juice to go back. I just have to gamble that he doesn't that he doesn't have enough juice that he will get cold feet up here up and he has to slow down there. So that's the only way for me to try to catch him. Holy shit, this is gonna be so it's not he's not supposed to win. I'm supposed to win. And then he will come ten minutes behind me or five minutes behind me. And you said you've seen in the video I tried my best to be fast, get a hot dog break, could have been avoided. We'll see, we'll see. The race is not over yet. Alright, we just uh, had a super fast charging session at Ionity at uh, Rindalskogen. Uh, we charged from 80 kilometers, I think, up to 244 kilometers in just, I don't know, like it was under 10 minutes, I think. I run to the restroom and back. <laughs> sat in the car for like two minutes and we left and it seems like we have enough to get home or to the finish line at least <laughs> uh, the car says 13 it told me 15 uh, before the consumption is going uh, slowly down from like 600 watt hours per kilometer to 232 right now we are getting close to Oslo, uh, yeah, the race, okay, I passed the 800 kilometer mark here, oh, average is 9.4, yeah, I'm cruising, barely legal, uh, the same speed as Powell, pretty much, oh, I heard on the live stream that he is about uh, three minutes ahead of me, it seems like he's been stuck behind some slow pokes on the left lane, but I was more lucky, but three minutes behind him, okay, fair enough, uh, let's finish this race, oh, Oh, it's finally a little bit quiet here. Yeah, when I'm not driving fast, then... Hmm, where's Pavel? Where's Pavel? Nope. On. Oh, there he is. Ah. Yeah, he's charging. Ah. Oh, okay. Yes, yes, let's let's park somewhere. Oh. 
Ah, oh, oh man, there's the winner and the car. Oh yeah. Yeah. Tesla for the win. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, I came about two minutes after him, or something. I'm not sure. But when you left, when you left, you had maybe a five-minute lead, was it? Right? Yeah. Yeah. Then, Four or five minutes. Yeah. Wow. What the heck? Uh, okay. Let me see. So you're juicing up now. Um, yeah. Let's let's go inside the car. Yeah. 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 I'm gonna ride with 15% zero charge. Yeah. Wow. What the heck? 76 kilometers. Okay. Left. But let's let's go inside. Then. Yeah. <laughs> Yes, okay, now let's try to wrap up. <laughs> what the heck happened? Why, how did I lose? <laughs> you know, I was 100% sure that I will win by at least 10 minutes. That was my guess based on what I know about this car and the other car. So we started with the first, the, the first stop, you know, mm -hmm. first charging stop. And back then I didn't have, I haven't eaten for four and a half hours or something. Yeah. So I was hungry. I was actually starving yeah, already one too. hour before we stopped there. Mm. Yeah, so we went on the road for four hours and 40 minutes. Then we stopped. Yeah. And I wanted some Mexican food. Yeah. And I went inside and there was this customer who had ordered three, <laughs> three or four burgers. So I would have to sit there. I, would, I mean, I had to stand there and wait in line. There were other people in front of me also. <laughs> then I could order. Yeah. And then, yeah. Uh, and then what happened? And then you started charging. Yeah, and then it, and the charger uh, bugged, so yeah. I had to run out and move the car. You probably lost how yeah, many minutes? Yeah. How uh, many? Five minutes, maybe. Five? Because, yeah, because, you know. Maybe two, three. When I moved the car, yeah, but in the charging speed as well. Oh, okay. when I moved the car oh, to the yeah. supercharger, I was only getting like 100 kilowatts. Oh, okay. And the Ionity bugged at like 140 or something. So, okay, okay. So, so you had problem with, yeah, that's, that's an issue with the Model 3. It yeah. will probably be fixed soon. Yeah. Uh, and then I we finished eating together. And then I thought you were going out just to start up your car and start the AC, you know? Oh, I left. Yeah. Yeah. And I was like, oh, okay. I will, I will shoot a, a video about uh, my car, you know? <laughs> and I was standing and shooting the video, and I shoot the video, and I was like, uh, why is Bjorn leaving? <laughs> <laughs> no, it's a race. <laughs> yeah. Oh, man. So you also lost a little bit yeah, of time there? Yeah. yeah. But of course, I think it, the down spiral started when we had that first stop. Let me, let me close the window a little bit. Yeah. Uh, it's a little bit noisy outside. But uh, when we had that first stop, and my car was just sitting there doing nothing. Yeah. And I had half tank and nobody refuels at half tank. No, no. Because I still have to bring out the car, da -da -da -da, yeah. and then, yeah. And I gained like almost 100% yeah. while we were eating. I had uh, to hurry up to but, eat, you know. You know, I was figuring, okay, whatever, dude, you have an edge, but I will take you in the refueling stop. Yeah. 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 And on the way back, uh, we were neck on neck again, and then mm -hmm. I had to turn away and get... And did you know that this car, okay, this is a bit special case, this car needs 98 unleaded. Yeah, yeah. Not every gas station has it. Oh. Uh, oh okay, so had, you had to... oil apparently doesn't have it. Oh, okay, okay. Shell. Yeah, yeah. So, but of course, if I draw a Passat diesel, then I don't have to care, I just yeah. go, yeah, diesel. Yeah. Uh, and then the refueling stop actually took some time for me. Mm -hmm. And it's bugged a couple of times. Yeah. Uh, and then I figured out, I thought we had an, uh, a gentleman's agreement that we will eat when we are hungry. So I had a hot dog, I expecting you to have a hot dog too. <laughs> you didn't. <laughs> no. Because that hot dog probably cost me five extra minutes. Uh, I was, was just drinking soda, you know. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So you can say that uh, if I didn't have the hot dog, yeah. if I drove a Passat, yeah. I, I could drive without recharging and refueling. Yeah. Then I would have won. You lost by a hot dog. Yeah, 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 I lost my hot dog. <laughs> I, I would have won maybe five to ten minutes, yeah, yeah. best case. But that shows you that in a long day, we, we were driving for over... What, 11, what, driving time now is... Let me see, can we see here? What, uh, okay, driving time is nine and a half hours. Yeah. And then the whole traveling here took uh, ten hours, so ten and a half, mm -hmm. something. Mm -hmm. In ten and a half hours, these two cars differs only 10 15 minutes yeah so that's nothing that's nothing really yeah, yeah. and don't give me that bullshit that <laughs> i was being slow i was being as fast as possible yeah you know <laughs> yeah 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 
I didn't try to intentionally lose. I will never do that, even if I'm on the fossil car. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, I think next one, okay, next race, people say we should try Malmö. Because then we have yeah. only motorway. Yeah, yeah. We yeah. have to drive slow around Gothenburg, that's it. Yeah. In that race, I should at least win by 10, 15, maybe half an hour even. Yeah, yeah. So maybe? And the consumption on my Model 3 will be much higher. Yeah. Because the speed limits in Sweden are much higher. So yeah. Yeah. So, um, but again, uh, how relevant is that trip? How relevant <laughs> was this trip? This trip was 50% uh, motorway and 50% yeah. slow roads, yeah. which is relevant for many people yeah. still. And it was fun. No, it's fun. Yeah. Nice weather. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, um, yeah, I think that's it. The race yeah. or the marathon. Let's call it a marathon instead. Yeah. yeah. There'll be so many butthurt people when I see that say that uh, Tesla won the race. Yeah, so marathon, marathon, okay, marathon. <laughs> yeah. All right. Um, I think that's it. Yeah. Yeah. Thanks again. Thank you for joining. For uh, fixing all this uh, stuff and equipment. And yeah, everything. yeah. No problem. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, I think the, the fuel bill in the end will be about 1,000. 1,200 nukes, about 120 euros in fuels, yeah. Wow. And you had uh, two charging sessions and you had about uh, 20 euros or something. Yeah, and if I will use on a supercharged network, uh, yeah. I will end up paying maybe 100 nukes altogether. Okay. Oh, well. Supercharging for half the way. Yeah, yeah. okay. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay, I think that's it for now. I hope you guys enjoy the video. As always, thank you for watching and Talk to you later and let the flame begin in the <laughs> comment section. Oh, yeah. Yes. All right. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.